my Bundesliga match week 31 predictions. Let's get into that. Hey everyone, in this video that is FYWN and I hope you guys are all doing super, super well. And first of all, I want to say thank you so much for the support of my recent video. It did so insanely well and I'm so proud of it. It is my RB Leipzig FIFA 20 career mode series where you guys obviously make the choices for me. And the support on that video was absolutely mental. So thank you so much for that. And that video got me 10 more subscribers. So I mean, if you're new to this channel, I mean... There's biscuits over there, there's coffee over there. If you don't like either of those, we're kind of on a budget. Today we will be talking about Match Week 31 predictions for the Bundesliga. To think there's less than a month left pretty much of the Bundesliga. It's pretty sad to think about already. But yeah, we've got some big games this Match Week. And if you prefer the Premier League over the Bundesliga, which I know a lot of people will, please go check out my Match Week 30 predictions for the Premier League, which are still up that I recorded like two months ago if you haven't seen that yet. And yeah, let's get into this. Also, I like the fact that now that I've officially started recording, my neighbors seem to be doing work with saws, drills, and hammers in their garden. It's like they're waiting there like... I think he's finally going to start recording. Let's make noise. The first prediction I have for you guys is going to be Hoffenheim versus RB Leipzig. So it is going to be seventh on the table, Hoffenheim, who look like they could play European football next season versus third place RB Leipzig. They have been on fire form this season. Now the prediction I have gone for is going to be a 2-0 win to RB Leipzig. Originally, I thought maybe a 3 or 4-0 win to RB Leipzig, but they're drawing way too much and it's not looking impressive for them. But looking at the likes of Hoffenheim, I mean, they drew to the likes of Dusseldorf who aren't doing that well this season and only got a 1-0 win against Mainz, which cutting it a bit close against teams that aren't doing that well this season. Well, if you look at the likes of RB Leipzig, yes, they've also drawn recently against teams that they really shouldn't have since football started again, but they did get a pretty comfortable win versus Cologne at 4-2, but I mean, way too many draws from RB Leipzig. I mean, I'll still go for the win on this one, but I mean, the best art competition in the world would be a drawing competition between RB Leipzig and Arsenal at this stage. Which, by the way, if you want to be those people that watch my FIFA 20 career mode series, which I mean, I'm going to start recording immediately after this video, please go check that video out. I will put it in the eye thingy up above. You know you want to watch it. It's pretty good. I had a lot of fun. The next prediction I have for you guys is going to be Wolfsburg versus Freiburg. So looking at these two teams, Wolfsburg is currently 6th place on the Bundesliga table, where Freiburg is 8th. So you know what, it is very close on the table. Freiburg have definitely given some surprises this season. But looking at Wolfsburg's uh, performances since they've been back to football, I mean, they've gotten a small win versus Werder Bremen, which, cutting it a bit close once again, they did lose against Frankfurt, who haven't had the best seasons lately, or the best season lately, and then they did get a massive win versus the likes of Bayer Leverkusen. So I'm not too sure where Wolfsburg are at the moment. As I said, Freiburg have gotten some very surprising results. But I will have to go for Wolfsburg on this one. I will give them a slight 1-0 win. I don't think it's going to be anything massive, anything too surprising. The third game I have for you guys is going to be Fortuna Dusseldorf versus the likes of Borussia Dortmund 2. I mean, it's going to be very one-sided in my opinion. I am going to go for the likes of Borussia Dortmund with a big 3-0 away win. Just purely because if you do look at the likes of Dusseldorf, I mean, they did draw against Hoffenheim, which I guess is somewhat impressive, but they got a huge 5-0 loss to Bayern Munich, so it's not looking impressive. And since Borussia Dortmund have been back since football has started again, they've had seven different goal scorers in their last five games, scoring 13 goals. 13 goals in five games is it's going to be pretty unstoppable, and they've only conceded two goals. So I can't see Fortuna Dusseldorf really being the team to break that down. The next prediction I have for you guys is going to be Hertha Berlin versus Eintracht Frankfurt, which I'm going to admit it, and I've said this many times this season, Frankfurt have not done what they should have this season. They have not achieved what they should have. They have not had the best season so far. Well, I've been rather impressed with Hertha Berlin, and they've gotten some amazing results lately. As I said, Hertha Berlin are two positions higher than Frankfurt, so I am going to go for a 1-0 win to the likes of Hertha Berlin. If you look at some of the games that they've had since they've come back, some of the results, I mean, they've gotten a small loss to Borussia Dortmund, which, I mean, a small lost to a very unstoppable team at the moment it's not embarrassing whatsoever they got a draw versus RB Leipzig which okay well maybe every team in, in the Bundesliga have gotten that so far but they did get a pretty comfortable 3-0 win versus Hoffenheim so I just think Hertha Berlin are looking in much better form than Frankfurt who once again their top scorer of the season is a centre-back so it's not looking the best for them. But at the same time, Frankfurt, they are very unpredictable. I mean, they lost to Mainz, who have had a horrible season, but yet they did beat the likes of Wolfsburg, so you never know. Cologne versus Union Berlin is next. It's going to be 12th place versus 14th, but looking at the luck of Cologne, they did really hit form before the season. They'd come to a bit of a stop. 
and since football started they haven't really you know picked up on the same form they haven't really gotten the results that they should have they have been only losing they have been only drawing they haven't gotten any wins since they've been back they've gotten two losses and three draws i do believe which is a bit stinky which huh if there's only something cologne could put on them to be less stinky if only there was something for that if you're looking at the likes of union berlin they haven't been that good either so it's really just going to be a game between two really underperforming teams this season it's not going to be yes this team is better it's more just going to be a case of oh well this team's just going to be worse than the other there's no better team in this i am sad to say but I do have to say, I do think Union Berlin are going to take a pretty heavy loss in this because, I mean, they drew against Mainz, who once again haven't had the best season. They conceded four goals against Gladbach and four goals against Hertha Berlin. So, once again, it is not the most promising. I am going to go for a 2 0 win to Cologne. I do think there are more quality players there. And once they pick up on form, I do think they can be dangerous. And I can't see them losing or drawing another game. Yes, I might have said the last game was going to be a battle between two really stinky bad teams. But this one, this next prediction is definitely... It is going to be 17th place Werder Bremen versus 18th place Paderborn. Which, once again, pretty sure that's a Star Wars term. But looking at the likes of both teams, they have not done at, like well at all this season. But I am going to go for Werder Bremen on this. Once again, just because it is a team with more quality players in a two are looking at paderborn this season i can't give them the one who although yes they have looked very surprising and gotten some draws against some big teams this season that one of they've only won four games this season so it's very hard to predict that they'll get the win in this although one of those wins was against Werder bremen earlier this season so it is very hard to predict that one but i am going to give it a slight nudge in Werder bremen's direction this prediction is going to be the big game of this match week it is going to be bayern munich versus Borussia Mönchengladbach who I really do like Borussia Mönchengladbach they have the ability to really perform they've got some star players in their team but I do feel that some teams that they definitely should beat this season they haven't really done as well as they should have I do find that sometimes they do underperform they really could do a lot a lot better and I mean I looked at the stats from Borussia Dortmund obviously and I spoke about how many goals they've scored I mean looking at Bayern Munich they've gotten 17 goals in their last five games which let's be honest that's unstoppable and although there have been a lot of clean sheets lately for the likes of Borussia Mönchengladbach I don't see them getting a clean sheets here I do see it being a 3-1 win to the likes of Bayern Munich as I've said many times I just find lots of their players are hitting top form this season but Bar Borussia Mönchengladbach I mean you would assume they would have a chance I mean they're fourth on the table but as I said they have underperformed since they've been back I mean on the 5th of June they did get a loss versus Freiburg which you would expect better from Borussia Mönchengladbach and on the 26th of May they did get a draw against Werder Bremen so I do think Borussia Mönchengladbach do have to pick up on form because they do have that ability to really be amazing when they do try. Mainz versus Augsburg is next, which uh, once again, these two teams are very hard to pick apart because since they've been back from football or in the season in general, they've taken some big losses to some top teams and they've both drawn against mediocre teams. So I can't say it's looking promising for either. I am going to make this a draw, the only draw of this match week. I will say that it is going to be a 1-1. I don't think it's going to be, yes, I mean, that might sound competitive, like they're going to be neck and neck, but it's really, I don't think either of them are going to perform very well in this game. I mean, the only redeeming factor maybe for any team is the fact that Mainz did get to win versus Frankfurt, although they have underperformed. So it is going to be very hard to split these two teams apart. It is 15th versus 13th in the Bundesliga table, which, hey, if you looked at any other league like the Premier League, you'd say, oh, well, that's not too bad. But you have to remember that there are only 18 teams in the Bundesliga. Final game of this match week is also going to be a pretty big one in terms of the context of who these teams are. It is going to be Schalke versus by Leverkusen, which I really do like Leverkusen. I think that they've got some amazing players and they have potential to really be one of the most threatening teams in the league. That is why they are fifth, obviously, in the table, where Schalke are 10th, which is very surprising because they have not gotten a win in their last 12 games. So I'm not feeling very confident in them. But looking at the likes of by Leverkusen in their last 10 games, they've only lost two games and it has been against top six opposition. Therefore, I have to go for Bayer Leverkusen on this with a big 2-0 win or, well, not that big in context of the Bundesliga. I mean, there's an average of three goals a game, obviously, but yeah, I have to go for Bayer Leverkusen on this one. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed my predictions. Once again, if you have enjoyed this content, please do subscribe to this channel. It helps me out so, so much. And hey, maybe my budget for the snacks in the beginning of the video won't be so low if you guys do subscribe. No, he's got a point. 
subscribe. So yeah, consider that. Also, please do follow FinCraft Football on Instagram. That would help me out majorly. So yeah, otherwise, guys, I do appreciate every single one of you. Please do subscribe. Please do like this video. It helps me out massively. And yeah, I hope you all have a glorious, fantastic day. Do love every single one of you. Thank you for watching. This has been Fin. F Y N. Cheers.